Anthony Joshua has done a deal for his next two fights to be at Wembley Stadium. So a fight in September and a fight in April 2019. I'm going to quote Anthony Joshua here. He says, being from North London, uh, sorry, being North London born and raised, it is in my blood. Wembley just added a fourth lion to the den. The opportunity to fight in such an iconic stadium is normally a once in a career opportunity. So to be given the chance to fight there again is amazing. Eddie Hearn also has some things to say about this. He says, capacity for Anthony Joshua's next fight on 22nd of September will be 90,000. We are expecting the 13th of April capacity to be extended to over a hundred thousand. I don't think anyone will forget that night of April 29 against Klitschko and we plan to bring two more dramatic events to Wembley Stadium. Images from these AJ events make our country the envy of the boxing world and long may it continue. So yeah, that's the news there people. Joshua, next two fights at Wembley. Wembley increasing its capacity to over 100,000 for the April fight. His next fight on September 22nd is most likely to be against Alexander Povetkin, unless Wilder has come to his senses (laughs) and thrown a, a spanner in the works out the blue and the WBA have once again held off. But at the moment, the WBA are pursuing and pushing for this mandatory. They said Joshua had to do some kind of deal or have some kind of agreement to fight Povetkin next. And that appears to be what's taking place. As Boxing Beats and Rams said on his channel, just because a fight is signed, it don't mean it's going to be announced immediately. Fights get signed and then announced a week later all the time. It happens constantly. Because there are people casting aspersions saying, well, the fight ain't signed. The WBA were lying and they're colluding with Joshua and they're protecting him from Wilder. Either way you look at it, that's BS. Either way you look at it. Because Joshua don't have to take the Wilder fight. It's not like Wilder is mandatory. And the only way he's not going to fight Povetkin next is if he's fighting Wilder. So either way, if he fights Wilder next, it proves he wasn't scared of Wilder. And if he fights Povetkin next, it proves that the WBA were not bluffing. And that the Povetkin fight is next. So whatever way you look at it, the Wilder fanboys are going to be proved wrong. Because <laughs> they're not really on this planet. Uh, anyway, yeah. Joshua, next two fights at Wembley. And this is a big deal. Because this has never been done before. In the history of British boxing definitely. And maybe even in the history of world boxing. For a guy to be fighting back to back to back stadium fights. And world heavyweight title fights. I've never seen anything like this before. Certainly not in my time. So Joshua is a trailblazer. He's breaking new ground. And he is a phenomenon in the UK. Will he be able to export this level of success worldwide if he eventually decides to fight in other parts of the world will he be able to do that you know theoretically joshua doesn't have to leave the uk he could continue to build in the uk to the point where he's doing pay-per-views in other countries and therefore don't have to fight there like in the united states for example if anthony joshua became such a household name in the u.s that people were willing to buy his pay-per-views he wouldn't need to fight in the u.s Now, again, I'm talking hypotheticals here. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just talking hypothetically and I'm asking the question, will he be able to get to that kind of level where there'll be territories outside the UK where Joshua fights a pay-per-view, even though the fights are not in those countries? Because that's when he's really on a whole new level. That's how Mike Tyson fights. Well, there's obviously a lot of American fighters that are like that. Floyd Mayweather, uh, etc. Had many fights which were pay-per-view in all around the world, really. Will Joshua, basing himself in the UK, be able to get like that? 
where, you know, in Germany and the US and different countries, Joshua's pay-per-view. Right now, I'd think it's unlikely, but you never know, man. He's certainly building a huge, huge, huge following in the UK and doing crazy numbers in terms of attendance. So let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. It's happening, I'm out.